how are you going? Um, this is Rochester Goka Club, and um, I'm going to show you what a lap sort of looks like here at the at the venue. So hope you hope you enjoy, and hope everyone's having a good day. All right, I'm standing here on uh, this is turn turn one, and um, it, it's not too bad here at Rochester. Um, you know, old, old facilities, of course, but um, ideally ideally you want to. Hug it into the middle line there for turn turn one approach. Um, obviously, it's a big straight here. Overtaking opportunity. Try try not to screw it up here. And as you can sort of see, hug it hug it in. Be be careful because it is a bit of camber here. I don't know if you can sort of see it, but there's a bit of camber going this way, and it comes in this way too. Uh, there's a bit of a crack in the road, but don't worry. Just try and get it nice. Nice in and then nice out there and I'll show you a bit out. Actually now since I'm walking you can sort of see the bit of the downhill motion here. So like yeah just keep in note when you're braking and you're, when you're making a line. Just be careful that just the undulation down the road. Okay now this is onto the approach to turn turn three now. Uh, turn, uh, turn two sorry. This is the approach to turn two. Here's turn one. So you get nice, nice good exit onto here and then I don't know if you can see it but like it comes up a little bit the track comes up and then it'll come down so keep that in mind as you as you're braking track sort of comes down and then it goes into a bit of a camber like this too so also keep that in mind it's not a bad little track here at Rochester but um yeah it, it does need up updating major updates like these big cracks into the ground keep um in mind there's a lot of grass in the center of the road too, you can you know bust your chain and things like that. So keep in mind. Uh, this is this is the approach onto turn two here at Rochester. As you can sort of see, it's it does go down a little bit, down sort of a little bowl, and then the camber the cam goes this way just a little bit. Uh, passing opportunity would be here, of course. So like you can set it, you can set it up down here. But like what I said, there's a bit of it's a bit of weeds and grass coming up on the inside here onto the road but um just keep in mind when you're braking going downhill not not much runoff either but yeah it is what it is <laughs> all right we're still on to we're on to turn two still here and i just want to show you the how it how it cambered it is just a little bit and and how it how steep it is so remember when you're braking just nice and easy not to not to overcook it down here and um, yeah, try to try to hug as much as you can, and then once you once you're on that power, try to get as wide as you can, and then you come up to another hill, which will be this will be turn three. All right, I'll show you turn. Okay, so you're coming up this way using all the road there, all the road, and then you bit of a bit of a direction change. So you're coming from over here to over here as you come just a little bit up the crest. It's just a tiny little crest, but you sort of notice when you're driving this low. And then you're coming into turn three. Eyes eyes on the road here, not <laughs> not into the paddocks. And um, here's here's a really important corner because you've got the straight coming up, which I'll show you on. Um, ideally, ideally you want to position yourself sort of here, and then hug it hug it nice and in. There's not much camber here on this corner, but um, you can you can run it a little bit wider if you if you dare to choose, which it's not too bad. In a, in a qualifying sort of sim simulation sort of thing, you can run it wider and get a better top end speed. But ideally, if you're if you're racing, you want to try hug it in there, so no one can try to you know do a little a doozy pass on you. I'm here at the, this is turn three exit, so turn three here at Rochester. Try to use as much road as you can, get bang on that power. And here we're onto the chicane right now. The chicane's here, try to use as much road as you can here, but you don't need to touch this grass here. Well, dry, dry road. <laughs> um, you don't need to use as much road as you can. Just try to use as much as that red, red and white there. Straight line it. Full throttle, full throttle, max power. If, if you're brave enough, of course. And um, as you straight line it, It'll open it up a little bit on that second bit of the chicane there because you've already done the, made the approach like this and then you've sort of made it open up if you make if it makes sense. 
you, you'll, you'll learn that over time. You sort of use as much track here as possible, and then the, the second half of the chicane is more open for you. So that's that's another thing to keep in reference to. Uh, it's, it's a brave it's a brave spot too for the bold. I wouldn't really say passing is here. It's more down that end. Here's where here's where you gotta really lead it to, sort of thing though. So like what I was saying with the chicane, if you've used a lot of road there, you won't need to really touch this whatsoever. You can come close. You'll be coming close, you'll be coming roughly here on your line, but you won't really necessarily need any of this if as long as you've positioned yourself well. And if you've positioned yourself well without touching this, you'd still be on the max power regardless because it's it's full throttle down this way. And then you're coming across, coming across because you're coming this way. So basically come across here to Rochester in the line, nice and easy. And another thing that I'm sort of noticing as you're coming across the chicane here, you're coming downhill, so de a quick, really fast, really fast downhill. So you're gaining speed, and then it sort of it flattens out here too. So just keep that in note. Um, so yeah, like here's the chicane. You're coming down this straight, max power, beautiful. Um, ideally, you sort of want to break here where the flag marshals would be, or sort of there's another sort of crack there to work out where you could break. Um, try not to overcook it here because if you overcook it. There's, um, there's a little mini straight there and you can do the old crisscross technique here so like if you if you run too wide and you do two two wheels onto the onto the grass sort of thing um, your opposition behind you can sort of do the old crisscross on the inside here which I'll sort of keep that in mind for yourself later on so yeah as we can see the lines here you're coming um, I, I don't I don't really like using all this road here because it's a bit it's a bit hairy of course I like to I like to run it roughly here, if it makes sense. Because as, as you can sort of see, I'll show off the camera. I don't know if you could tell, but look at the, the way the strip goes. It goes a bit like this. And um, to be to be out this far, you're gonna bloody break chains or something. Ideally, you'd wanna just try to keep it in the inside. If you if you accidentally go out here, someone, someone behind you, oh, there's a rabbit, look at that, a rabbit. Someone in the inside will lunge it up here and you're gone. You're gone, they're gonna pass you. So keep that in mind. Try not to use too much of road here. Keep it within your within your track limits, of course, because you've got all this out here, okay? So you don't wanna break parts of things. <laughs> loop-de-loop -loop 180s um, this is a really important section like what I said you can pass here there's a passing opportunity here there's also a passing opportunity there if you're feeling like you've just got that little extra you just put it push the nose in and they might they might get a bit scared um, here's a really important section try to try to hug hug it the apex here as you can see where the black is because the more you hug it in here you're not out there, okay? Because you've got to do the old crisscross technique here. It's an important, it's an important corner because you want to do a track, track sacrifice. Slow it up a little bit here because as you slow it up here, you're using a lot less road over there on the exit there because you want to sort of like what I was saying, straight line it there because as you're coming onto the straight, it's a really important corner. Um, some people. Some people do overcook it here, which I've done it many times. As you can see, you've got the strip here, but it's, it's okay. It's okay if you come out this wide. It comes out this wide, just go into go into it straight, okay? Go into it straight, but ideally, ideally you'd want to sort of set yourself up over here. See, like use the line as the reference, a crack in the road. You want to get yourself as far as you can here, because here is probably one of the most important corners of the track because this from here you can basically go flat flat through this another tight complex of corners okay so keep that in mind see 
so you come in nice little apex sort of where you can see the X in 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 and by now by now if you're looking at the camera you're on max power we're on max power right where I'm standing max power come in as close as you can here because as you're coming in nice and close here you're gonna you're gonna make it easier for yourself on the next corner next complex but, um, like what I said it's all right if you're out too far here because regardless the kink the kink there onto the final corner is, is not too bad you can do it flat regardless if you're out out wide here but ideally you want to set yourself up here because if you're out here you're gonna chew your tires up just a little bit too more a little bit more ideally you'd want yourself positioned roughly here max power and then max power out onto the kink onto the straight onto rochester okay Rochester track. Ideally you'd want to position yourself nice and easy, straighten out the chicane, max power, beautiful. And as you can see this is this is the straight here. It goes into a little bit of a hill there, like what I was saying before, and then it dips it dips down. So keep that in mind when you're going back into turn one. It, it dips down, so keep your braking markers nice and easy. And it, it turn turn one's a 180 anyway, so you don't, you could do a bit of a trail break there if you really dare and you want to do a late braking technique sort of thing a bit of trail braking and um yeah this is the, this is sort of what it looks like here in rochester i'm um, also keeping note where, where it's cracked in the middle there's a lot of a lot of weeds a lot of grass so you can break your sprocket and things like that as you can sort of see like what i was saying before it, it does need a resurface it does need a resurface or a bit of more maintenance, but it's not bad track and hopefully the community gets around it and more money goes into this track. And um, yeah, hope you liked the little, little review here. And um, that's what it looks like, the straight. So beautiful out in, come around, right here, line, and then turn one. As you can sort of see the, it's coming up a little bit of a hill and then there's your complex there. And um, yeah, all the facilities up here. And yeah, hope you, hope you liked it. We're in Rochester. Alright, see you later.